Developing tonight, time and oxygen running out for the Titanic tourist submersible with five people on board. WGN's Shannon Halligan is joining us now with the latest on the search. Yeah, we're learning more information about the people aboard that submersible. A renowned Titanic expert, two members of one of Pakistan's wealthiest families, a British billionaire and the CEO of the company leading the expedition. Coast Guard teams searched an area larger than the state of Connecticut and so far there's still no no sign of the submersible. An international armada of ships and planes continued the search for a submersible that vanished in the North Atlantic. Our crews are working around the clock to ensure that we are doing everything possible to locate the Titan and the five crew members. The U.S. Coast Guard is leading the team on the hunt for the Titan, a submersible carrying five people on an expedition down to the wreckage of the Titanic. The vessel disappeared Sunday in waters about 400 miles south of St. John's. British billionaire Hamish Harding is on board, along with two members of one of Pakistan's wealthiest families, a renowned Titanic expert and the CEO of the Ocean Gate, Stockton Rush, who is leading the expedition. He spoke on Sky News earlier this year about the deep dive to the Titanic. You can see inside. In fact, we, we dipped down into where the grand staircase was. We saw some of the chandeliers that were still hanging. It's amazing. The cost for passengers who paid to join the expedition is $250,000. David Pogue took the trip as a journalist and told News Nation there are several safety protocols in place. But if the vessel is not bobbing along on the surface somewhere, it's either trapped in debris or the submersible was punctured. Or, you know, the worst case scenario is that there was a, a leak in the pressure vessel and that would be an instantaneous implosion. Experts say rescuers face several challenges and oxygen is expected to run out by Thursday. Crews say they're doing everything possible before then. We are out there, we're searching. We, we wouldn't be doing this. We wouldn't be searching and putting all effort out there. Um, I think that, you know, if the sub is located, that's a question that then, then the, uh, the experts need to look at what is the best course of action. Uh, for recovering the sub, but I think it's going to depend on that particular situation and, uh, and if we encounter that. An underwater robot started searching in the vicinity of the Titanic. There's been a push to get salvage equipment to the scene if the sub is found, but there are very few vessels that could even get down mm -hmm. to those depths. So difficult to reach that. All right, we'll stay on this. Thank you, Shannon.